and we want to leave that felonious activity behind, you know what I'm saying? But we want to take the skills, the traits that are intangible and bring those over to the kingdom of God. Hustle, hustle and... All right, so we're going we gonna to keep it all the way 100 right now. Um, we, if you want to know what the uh, qualifications of a pastor, elder, preacher are, that's in the Bible, all right? Titus 1 and 2, 1st, 2nd Timothy, we got you on that. We believe that. We hold to that. If you're trying to be a church planner, that's something different, okay? So we want to talk about what are some good qualities, traits, characteristics of a church planner. Listen, I, don't hit me with they need to know the gospel. Don't hit me with we know all of that. We with that 110%. So that's the disclaimer. What I'm talking about now is the real qualities of a church plan. Number one, if you grew up in the streets and all of that and you knew how to handle pressure well, that's a great quality of a planter. Understanding and, and being able to navigate the anxieties of multiple pressures on you at the same time. That's a very incredible uh, quality you need to have and cultivate. If you want a stress-free, predictable way of life, church planting probably ain't for you, all right? Another one would be you have to have a sense of hustle. When we talk about church planting and all this kind of stuff, if you talk about, man, I just want to go to work at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be done at 5 o'clock, I'm going to spend time with my kids at this time, I'm going to do it like this, uh, this is not going to be for you. All right, but many of us, it, it just you have to develop that sense of work ethic. So when I grew up in, you know, when we grew up in the neighborhood, we had them friends that was always out there playing football and practicing, building up their game, trying hard, going out for combines and doing this and going to tryouts and this, that, and the third. You had to have a sense of work ethic. You couldn't just be talented. So that's another deep quality you have to have. Now, uh, for some of you, you might feel like, man, I'm disqualified from possibly planting a church because of the things in my life. Like, man, I, I sold dope. I, I did different things. Hey, those are great qualities to have to be a church planter. If you're saved, walking with Jesus, all of those things, because even in those, you learn lessons on leadership. You learn lessons on how to have a vision, how to create plans, how to manage people, how to understand and, and leverage different um, organizational structures. So we want to leave that felonious activity behind, you understand? But we want to take the skills, the traits that are intangible and bring those over to the kingdom of God. To be a church planner, you have to have an entrepreneurial spirit. So if you've never started anything, you don't want to start nothing new, you just want to go to work, get a check, it probably ain't going to be for you, all right? But if it's like, yo, I got a dream and I got a little bit of hustle and I'm willing to learn, church planting is a great space for you to be able to um, express the qualities God put in your heart and in your life. And so, man, those are just a few uh, characteristics you need. You need work ethic, you need to have a hustle, you need to have some creativity and entrepreneurial spirit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you got to be able to handle a lot of pressure and anxiety. You got to be willing to take a risk. And um, this, this ain't for the faint of heart for sure. But I do believe God is calling more urban church planners for this season. And that might be you and you're holding out. And I want you to know we got a place for you. We want to help you. Yo, thanks so much for watching. This your man, Charlie, a.k.a. Charlie Hustle, a.k.a. The Hope Hustler. And I want you to like, subscribe for more to stay up with us.